from Tar, Olgrim. That armor suits you well, old friend. Be fitting for your new station as war chief. Thrumkar, Verok. Thank you. I had it delivered from the Black Rock Forges back in Jornor a few days ago. This way, a piece of home will always accompany me in the battles to come. Do you bring any news? We besieged the Temple of the Damned as you instructed. And the Warlock, did you manage to take him alive? Yes, War Chief. The Shadow Council resisted, however, and we were forced to kill almost all of them. Gul'dan was performing some kind of ritual when we found him. He fell unconscious and hasn't stirred since we brought him back. I want him and the remaining council brought to the city. Lock them up. I will teach the warlock the perils of treachery. It will be done, war chief. Gul'dan led a match and the fire cannot be stopped. It will devour this entire world. And one more thing. The sons of Blackhand, Rend and Maim, are asking for an audience. Let them come. I have orders for them. With respect, War Chief, those two cannot be trusted. They will always resent you for their father's death. Their lives are in my hands, Verok. They submitted to me after the Makora. I will find good use for them. As you say, War Chief. Lokta, War Chief! Lokta! We await your orders! War Chief. Lokta, first of all, I want you both to always remember that you owe your lives to me. The unity and the strength of the Horde is my utmost priority. That is why I accepted your oaths of loyalty, despite the rumors that are circulating. What rumors? That you are planning to start a rebellion against my rule. Some orcs that were loyal to my father may want such a thing. We acknowledge your superiority, War Chief. We won't risk starting a civil war. Good. I'm pleased that you understand. That is why I have a proposal. You will inherit the Black Tooth Grey Clan and take all of Black Hand's loyalists with you. That is a very generous proposition, War Chief. In return, I expect you to follow my orders fiercely and without question. Our clan will serve the Horde well, War Chief. Good. Wait, what is that? Human ships? They're heading north. They will call upon their allies to take revenge. War Chief, did you let the humans flee? Yes, I let them go. But why? Their stories of death and terror will spread throughout the north like a wildfire. Their allies will fear us long before they even face us. Do not question me again. Hmm. Good. Now, if you are so concerned about those human ships, then I have a mission for you. The refugees are headed to a northern kingdom called Lodron. Our prisoners have revealed that this human kingdom is not only Stormwind's greatest ally, but also the most powerful human nation in the north. I have ordered an ambitious orc named Utok Scratcher to establish a base on the island of Zul'dare, close to Lord Geron's southern shores. You will accompany him on this mission. From Zul'dare you will evaluate the enemy's strength and prepare for the arrival of our invasion force. This will be your first test, Ren Blackhand. When do I leave? Immediately. And what about me, War Chief? I need you here, Mae. 
You will be observing Gul'dan's state after he arrives at the city. I want him to be brought before me the moment he wakes from his coma. It will be done, War Chief. War Chief, I uh, have a personal request. Mm, yes. You disbanded the Wolf Riders after assuming the mantle of War Chief. A chieftain is not a chieftain without his wolf. I need my wolf back. <sighs> As an exception, I will tell Sarfan to return your wolf to you. And me! I want my wolf back too! Enough! One wolf rider is enough for your clan. Now, be gone! Why did he let you get your wolf back, but not me? I have lost count of the days I've spent in this damnable prison. I should have died during the assault on the temple. Sitting here is unbearable. Stop complaining, Terangor. We are alive only because Doomhammer is planning a trial for Gul'dan. Our lives depend on him awakening. Chagal, do you have any idea when Gul'dan will wake up? No, Necros. We know no more than you. Excellent progress. The kingdom of men is almost broken. Stormwind will not last much longer. This is just the beginning, Gul'dan. There are six other human kingdoms on this continent. Their lands are rich and vulnerable. The greedy dwarves sit on their treasures in the mountains of Cosmodon. The High Elves, spoiled by magic, hide within the forests of Quel'Thalas. All of them are enemies of the Horde. They will all be enslaved or slain. Good. And once you're done, remember who it was who brought the Horde into this world, who saved your kin from starvation and death after Kil'jaeden abandoned you. What do you know of Kil'jaeden, human? Human? <laughs> I'm more than just a man, Gul'dan, and more than just a mere magician. I am the guardian of Tirisfall. I know all that there is to know about you, your kin, and demons. I also know that Kil'jaeden simply used you to rid himself of his old enemies, the Drenai. But that is beside the point. Then, what is the point of this conversation? I am grateful for your help in opening the portal, and for the information that will help us defeat the weaklings of this world. But what do you want in return? What I want in return, Gul'dan, is this world. This world? This world will belong to the Horde. The Horde, Gul'dan, or yourself? I can see right through you, little warlock, and your desires are simple. Believe me, what I want from this world is beyond you. But in return, I shall offer you something that is worth this world a thousand times over. And what would that be? Power, Gul'dan. Power many times greater than the strength of even killed Jaden himself. Hmm. Intriguing. And where can such power possibly be found? A long time ago, this world was shaken by a great battle in which the Dark Titan Sargeras was defeated. 
If you find his tomb, you can absorb his essence and claim the Dark Titan's power for yourself. That is my offer. And where can I find this tomb? What? Khadgar? Lothar? You shouldn't have come here, my old friends! Medivh! Where is it? What? No! <gasps> Impossible! Where is the tomb? Where? Like the dead. For many weeks you did not move, only breathe. We thought your spirit had been destroyed. I am not overcome too easily. Were you afraid that I would leave you to Black Hand's mercy, Chokal? Black Hand, the destroyer, is dead, Master. Dead? What happened? Necros, look! He's awake! The Master is awake! Wait! Someone is coming. So! The Warlock is awake at last! The War Chief wants to see you! Follow me, and do not make any sudden movements! If you do, I'll cut off your hands! Are you taking me? He usurped power, Master Gul'dan, and attacked the Shadow Council while you were unconscious. He killed almost everyone! Only you, Necros, Terangor, and Reed remain. Who? Who did this? Orgrim Doomhammer. The sons of Blackhand swore fealty to him, and the Horde followed. I'm sick of this putrid stink. Gather everything of value and burn the dead. It will be done, Warlord. Back to work. Sort through the rubble. We need the materials. Yes, Master. So, you finally woke up. Master, I- Silence! I know what you did, Gul'dan. I know how you manipulated Black Hand, and how your Shadow Council pulled the strings of the Horde in secret. Your black magics will not save you now. You and your foul ilk nearly destroyed us all, tainting our honor and proud traditions with your trickery and witchcraft. And for this, you will pay dearly. No! Do not do this, Doomhammer! Give me one good reason to spare your miserable life, Warlock. I bow to your strength, mighty Doomhammer. I recognize you as War Chief of the Horde, and swear my eternal loyalty to you. <laughs> Empty words, Gul'dan. We need each other, War Chief. Yes, you are much stronger, wiser, and more visionary than Black Hand. But you cannot win the coming war on your own. We both know that the humans are not the only threat, and that this was not their only kingdom. The Horde cannot maintain superiority in the wars to come without warlocks. Do not throw away this power for the sake of revenge. 
What you say is uh, true. Very well then, I will put the Horde's interest above my own in this matter. I will spare your life and the lives of your remaining Shadow Council, but only as long as you serve the Horde. Thank you, mighty Doomhammer. I shall make warriors who can repulse even the most powerful priests and magicians of men. They will be loyal only to you. I swear this to you. See that you do. I will be keeping a close eye on you, Gul'dan. Stray from this path and your life is forfeit. Gather the Shadow Council and summon whoever is left. We have a lot of work to do.